And when I say pistachio, I'm talking about the real deal white pistachio. Banana cream ice cream made with real bananas. Six of them for $27 plus the FedEx shipping. That's what you want to do. You want to call 800 Dandy Don and get some of this wonderful ice cream. Or you can do it on the internet, www.dandyduns.com. These are difficult times in the life of our nation. Millions are looking for work and have been for some time. And the spending binge going on in Washington is a big part of the reason why. Before I served in Congress, I ran a small business in Ohio. I was amazed at how different Washington, D.C. operated than every other business in America. Where most American businesses make the hard choices to pay their bills and live within their means, in Washington, more spending and more debt is business as usual. Well, I've got news for Washington. Those days are over. Really? I mean, how? How, how about just simply telling the President of the United States, stop throwing a tantrum, and and uh, cut spending. If you're not going to do it, we're going to do it because we're not giving you a penny. It's that simple. The United States cannot default on its debt obligations. The jobs and savings of too many Americans are at stake. What we told the president in January was this, that the American people will not accept an increase in the debt limit without significant spending cuts and reforms. And over the last six months, we've done our best to convince the president to partner with us to do something dramatic to change the fiscal trajectory of our country, something that will boost confidence in our economy, renew a measure of faith in our government, and help small businesses get back on track. Last week, the House passed such a plan and with bipartisan support. It's called the Cut, Cap, and Balance Act. It cuts and caps government spending and paves the way for a balanced budget amendment to the Constitution which we believe is the best way to stop Washington from spending money that it doesn't have. Before we even passed the bill in the House, the President said he would veto it. I want you to know I made a sincere effort to work with the President to identify a path forward that would implement the principles of cut, cap, and balance in a manner that could secure bipartisan support and be signed into law. And I'll tell you, I gave it my all. Unfortunately, the President would not take yes for an answer. Even when we thought we might be close on an agreement, the president's demands changed. The president has often said we need a balanced approach, which in Washington means we spend more and you pay more. Well, well if it's cut, cap, and balance, then, then, then uh, why, don't you, why don't you just send it to the Senate? Which is what they should do. They, they, well, they did, and, right. they, and they're three votes short in the Senate. I would keep sending it to them and work on those Democrats, those those uh, uh, conservative Democrats that they have over there, and try to get it through the Senate and send it to his desk. Send it to the if president's desk. If he vetoes it, then there, then he signed, then he's na put a nail in his own coffin. So you'd keep sending it back. I keep sending it back to him, and I would hold it up and just send. This is this is what we're sending him. This is what the people want. The election of last November told the Republican Party, as it is, we don't like what you're doing. So they they through a landslide election, gave the Republican Party the House gave the, it to them. Gave it to them and told them this is what we want you to do. And now Boehner is, is, is now off of cut, cap, and balance, which is exactly what they should be doing. They should also be doing, I mean. Uh, He's got a new plan. Uh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah, changed plan. the whole plan. You know what it is? It's a compromise. Why is he, he? He's negotiating with himself. Why is he compromising? Because they're the, and the Republicans seems to be the only ones that are making up the plans. You see, there's no stalemate here in Congress. The House passed a bill to raise the debt limit with bipartisan support. And this week, while the Senate is struggling to pass a bill filled with phony accounting and Washington gimmicks, we're going to pass another bill, one that was developed with the support of the bipartisan leadership of the U.S. Senate. Obviously, I expect that bill can and will pass the Senate and be sent to the president for a signature. And if the president signs it, the crisis atmosphere that he has created will simply disappear. Okay. So, so what? So why, so why, why are we compromising? Why are stay. we compromising our own right. plan? Why don't the why doesn't the other side come up with another plan to go against our plan? Right. Well, yeah. it's common sense. Yeah.
This isn't politics. You know, it's common sense. Politics got us into this mess. You know, we're, we're not here promoting republicanism. I'm the, I'm the last guy to promote republicanism. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to promote a, a conversation of common sense. You know, when the, uh, the going gets tough, it usually is that the uh, tough quote uh, Ronald Reagan. But today, many Republicans in the House refuse to consider this kind of balanced approach, an approach that was pursued not only by President Reagan, but by the first President Bush, How dare he? by President Clinton, by myself, and by many Democrats and Republicans in the United States Senate. He's a liar. So he's quoting Reagan now. He's, he's the liar. Reagan president. He's a liar. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Dreyer here, 800-336-2225. You can call and talk to Fred, 800-336-2225. It's the PM Show, Fred Dreyer edition. When we come back, we'll hear from some other uh, political types here for you, get some of the thoughts. You can call in and talk to Fred if you want to. Uh, plus, Fred just sent the information here. We're going to talk to you about a little bit about a situation in Dallas, Texas, getting some uninsured automobiles off the road. That, yeah, too. Thank, Stay with yeah, us. Thank God. Thank God we're getting those off the road, huh? Straight ahead, we continue on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Cable subscribers, if you want to be healthy, check out Dr. Cass Ingram's new website, HealthyNewsRadio.com. There are YouTube videos. All his books are on sale. Plus, you can download free his Healthy News newsletter. It's all at HealthyNews, with an S, Radio.com. HealthyNewsRadio.com. And if you want to find out about the all-natural,